Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I wanted to address a comment that I got recently on how to make a grid collage thumbnail on ribbit.com. Now, usually people have been using PicMonkey. PicMonkey is no longer free or available to people unless you subscribe. And uh, you can't even save your thumbnails down um, as before for free. So basically, I have done a previous video on PicMonkey uh, telling everybody and alerting everybody that it is no longer free and telling people to go over to ribbit.com. During that uh, ribbit.com video, I have had a comment back from a subscriber asking me, okay, now that they're on ribbit.com, please show us how to make a grid uh, collage type thumbnail. In other words, a thumbnail that has multiple pictures on it. So let's go ahead. Um, I have logged into the beta version of ribbit.com. Basically, you can go to ribbit.com and they will ask you if you want to try their new version because they're going over to a whole new format. It's going to be uh, much more glamorous. As you can see, this front panel looks a lot better than the um, current version of ribbit.com, which is going to be retired pretty quickly. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the new ribbit.com if we're up here anyway. And then I'll go ahead and show you the steps on how to create a grid collage that is a uh, thumbnail size for your YouTube channel. Okay, so once you're logged in, and by the way, the account is free, you can go ahead up and set up and subscribe to ribbit.com. It does not cost you anything. You just have to basically create a, um, you know, a username and a password. Very easy, very simple. In a couple of minutes, you're up and running. Now you will go ahead and click on on grid collage and uh, let's see I don't I want to say no because I'm starting one I was just playing around with it a few minutes ago so by default it um, shows you a perfect square with four um, picture holders basically these dotted lines over here are your frames and in each of these frames you can go ahead and drag and drop uh, the pictures in there. So we do our, have our four picture component. However, this is the wrong size for the thumbnail for YouTube. So what we wanna do is go ahead and change our proportion first. So let's go ahead and do that. We don't wanna have constraints on it, so make sure you have no constraints. And then um, you will click over here and pick a proportion. Now, in order to get a 1280 by 720 pixel, uh, thumbnail, uh, which is the uh, which is the right size for YouTube right now, they don't really have that here on PicMonkey to choose from. If you scroll down, they have a Facebook cover preloaded and they have a Twitter cover preloaded, but they don't really have a 1280 by 720. They do have a 1280 by 800 uh, and a 1280 by 1024, but not the uh, actual proportion size that you need. Now, the way around that is to choose 16 by 9. 16 by 9 equals the 1280 by 720 proportion. So go ahead and click 16 by 9, and voila, you have your uh, thumbnail proportion the right way now. This is the right size for your thumbnail, okay? Um, it comes to fault with a black background. If you don't want a, a background or you just want a transparent, you can just click that little button next to a uh, hide background. And now it will show like a little checkerboard pattern here, which indicates that it is completely transparent. You can go ahead and, uh, unclick that. You can choose any other background that you want. If you want it completely white or, uh, any other color. If you do choose it white, it's very hard to see the borders. So I would suggest that you keep it a darker color till you place your pictures. And then you can always go ahead and um, go back to white. So let's just uh, go ahead and pick a color here. I'm just going to pick blue. And uh, down here, you can round the corners a little bit. You can get a little fancy schmancy with it. So I'm just going to make it a little bit of a round. Kooky is really cool. If you do kooky, it just kind of makes it all different sizes and kind of wonks the pictures 
uh, kind of makes it hodgepodge here and there. And then, um, of course, your columns, you can, that's where you would, you know, choose this, two, two, three, four columns. And for some reason, it um, does not uh, do well with this. As you can see, it goes ahead and um, puts your proportions off again. So I wouldn't suggest you play around with that. I would suggest you just uh, pick one of these uh, pre-proportioned gridded um layouts up here uh, and you can go back to here and do your plane four of course there's different ones you can do three you can do four you can do whatever you want but since our uh, subscriber wanted four we're going to go back to four real quickly here and no constraints and then choose the 16 by uh, let's see 16 by 9 again so let me go back up here and do that so we're back to where we are so it's very very lucid you can go ahead and do a lot of customization to it by doing all of these uh things over here okay so let's move on we're gonna choose uh four pictures that i've got uh, just at random nothing significant here so i'm gonna put this one over here and I'm going to put this one over here. And let's say I'll put uh, this one up here. And then we'll do one up here. So there you go. There's your four. And you can go ahead and uh, zoom on any one of these. You can tilt them if you want, uh, flip them over. Uh, so there's a, a lot of things that you can do. This one I'm going to make a little bigger, get into my lips right there, and you can scoot them over left and right. You can scoot them over up and down and uh, basically just, you know, do whatever you need with them. Let's see, we'll pull this, zoom it a little bit. There we go. And pull it over. Uh, yeah, maybe like right there. And then of course this let's just zoom in right on the lipsticks there there you go so you know you get the drift you can do a lot of things with this um, and get them just the right way and then uh, once you're ready and you've got this now we still have the blue background again um, you can hide the background completely and that will just give you four pictures without any background that you can uh, put up there uh, if not, we can go ahead and make it a completely white background for YouTube. Let's just say that. Um, and then, of course, you can put text and all the other fun stuff that you need to do um, for your collage. We're going to hit done. Let's hit done. Oh, there it is. See, this is the first time I've been playing with it. Okay, once you hit done, then... You can go ahead and uh, start putting text or other things on it, I think. That's kind of funky. Uh, no. I'll hit allow. Okay, let's pull this down. It is a little wonky because it's still in beta. So let's try to put a um, text in here. We'll try this. And then you let's type something um uh four pictures how's that there we go and then we'll click add and there it is it's pretty big so we'll go ahead and uh, pull this down in size and i can go ahead and change the color so let's go ahead and change the colors here just for grins and giggles make it blue and uh, you can go ahead and scoot it anywhere you want. So we'll just uh, pull it down there. There we go. Nothing fancy schmancy. There you go, guys. So that's it. That's about it. Uh, you can go ahead and click on all of these things. This is for retouching, and that's really for um, the individual face or picture. And then you can do all these seasonal little uh, designs and uh things that you want to do like holidays let's just see um halloween fourth of july let's see what's appropriate for now just for just to be fun okay let's say valentine's day is coming up so let's go ahead and valentine effects there we go 
there's oh that's funny these things kind of you can choose a little heart on there and let's see what else do they have I don't even know let's see love flare there's this flares and things that you can do and you can do candies that's kind of cool look at that guys I love playing with stuff like that. And then you can do stickers, obviously. And let's just see if we have any stickers that we want to do here. Um, we've got roses. There's not much stickers here for Valentine's, but okay, there we go. Let's pick a rose. And we can go ahead and size that. And I'm just, I'm placing things all over. I'm not, it's, believe me, it's not going to be aesthetically pleasing right now. I'm just showing you things that you can do. And there's some of these, which are kind of like broken hearts and things. So we can put something like that here. Uh, put that over there. And then you can grab it by the handle and twist it around. Um, you can make it a different color if you want. Not that that's going to matter, but there you go. You can do some different funky stuff with it. So you get the idea, guys. So you can really go wild with this and do whatever you need to do to um, make it your own and customize it for yourself. And then once you're ready, you can, um, if you want, flatten all of it so that it's one picture, one, you know, done deal and it's combined and then once you're done uh that's it you are ready to save it which you will click here to save and um you can have it at 1024 by 576 is the height and width right now you can name it you know ribbit collage i don't know to whatever you want to name it i usually suggest to put it as a, a jpeg uh, PNG usually for some reason is kind of big for YouTube and YouTube kind of bulks at it to uh, load it up. So I kind of keep it in the middle here about um, 175K as a JPEG and then you go ahead and save your photo and it'll go in your download file or wherever you want to have it saved. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm not going to save it, but you get the idea. Just save it down to your local drive somewhere at your leisure, don't forget to name it, whatever you want to name it, and then um, then you're ready to go. So I hope that this has been helpful. I hope that you have a lot of fun with Ribbit. Sorry that it took me a little bit of time to figure out how to put some of these things together, but um, as it is, we're all learning and it's a learning curve. But uh, hopefully uh, the subscriber that wanted the collage, is uh, it's gonna be helpful for them. So thank you so much for leaving that comment. And um, don't forget to subscribe to me. I do put up how-to videos on software and other um, fun tutorials as I uh, find them out for you guys, for other YouTubers out there and content creators. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it as you need to with other people that might need to have this information to create their all thumbnails and to make their YouTube experience a great experience. Thank you so much again for stopping by.